Well, hi guys, it's that time. It's our Bible teaching snippet of the day. Today, we're going to do two things. Number one, I'm going to answer a question that someone has asked me. And the second thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to do an actual true prayer for a lady. I have a prayer request that was sent to me. And uh, I do a lot of praying for people, but today I'm going to role model another prayer, but this is a real prayer, guys, so I want you to agree with me for the healing of this lady when we pray at the end of this teaching. So the first thing I want to do is the teaching, and I want to talk about the question that I was asked. I was asked, how do you know God's will, and specifically, how do you know it's God's will to heal everybody? Okay. Number one, everything that Jesus did over and over again, everywhere he went, Jesus would say, I always do my Father's will. I'm always about my Father's business. Didn't you know he sent me to do his will? Okay, so what we can discern through Scripture is if we see Jesus doing it in the Gospels, then it's the will of the Father. Jesus fed the poor. Jesus healed the sick. Jesus raised the dead. Jesus cast out unclean spirits. And you think about it, Jesus told us in Mark 16, 17, and 18 to do exactly the same things that he did while he was here on this earth. Now that we're believers, empowered by the Holy Spirit, we can do the same works and even greater works that Jesus did. That's what he asked us to do. Now, the last part of my answer, okay, so we know what God's will is by looking at the life of Jesus. And if Jesus did it, it's the will of the Father. It's the will. That's what he wants. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to go over to the Lord's Prayer. And I'm over in, and we call it the Lord's Prayer. It's actually the disciples' prayer. Jesus told them how to pray. So he role modeled this prayer, okay? And over in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, it says, Jesus said, and pray this way. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I want to stop right there and tell you, Jesus was not praying your kingdom come as in the rapture happening or Jesus' second coming. No, no. What Jesus was saying, the culture of heaven Okay, what's going on in heaven right now, pray that that would come to earth, okay? Your kingdom that's in heaven going on right now, pray that that would be done on this earth. So in the Greek, what that says, it says, your kingdom come right now. Your will be done right now. On this earth, as it's already being done in heaven. I hope that makes sense to you. But watch this. I want to show you that it's God's will through Scripture that every single person be healed. I'm going to go over, and I am in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4. Watch this. It says, uh, I'm going to start in verse 3, and it says, This is good, and it pleases God, our Savior. Wow who wants all people to be saved and to know the truth. That word saved right there is the word is the Greek word sozo. It's S-O-Z-O. -O. It almost sounds like it's got a D in it. It's sozo. Okay, the meaning of the word sozo, watch this. See, we think it's not going to hell because we hadn't been taught correctly. This radically flipped this girl upside down when I found out being saved was not about getting a get-out-of-hell-free card. Being saved, sozo, means this. Watch. It says to be delivered, to be protected, to be preserved, to be healed, to be made whole, to do well. So God, when he uses the word sozo in the New Testament, he wants us to have all of this stuff. So I'm going to read 2 Timothy, I'm sorry, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4. I'm going to read it one more time. And the word sozo right there, saved, I'm going to put this in there. God wants all people to be healed, delivered, protected, 
preserved, and made whole. Okay, just get that. God wants all people to be healed, to be saved, to be sozoed, to be preserved, protected, made whole, and to come to the knowledge of the full truth. What it's saying, they, he wants us to have full knowledge of the truth of him in his great power. Okay, I hope this teaching has blessed you today because I'm telling you, God wants every single person on this planet to be saved. And that's not us issuing a get out of hell free card. God wants them to be made whole, preserved, healed, protected, all of these good things. He wants this to happen right now. Remember, Jesus told us to pray for it to happen right now on this earth as it's been already going on in heaven. All these good things God wants for every person on this earth. So let's wrap this up today, and we're going to pray. I'm going to use the lady's name. Her name is Nina, and I've got her last name here, but I'm not going to give that out. But her first name is Nina. And she's in the hospital, and she's got kidney failure going on, and she's a diabetic. So we're going to pray for her. You ready? Father, I thank you for Nina. I thank you that Jesus healed her on the Roman whipping post 2,000 years ago. She is already sozoed. She is already healed, made whole, and is completely healed. So I call it down right out of heaven, the kingdom of heaven. I call it down to this earth right now in Nina's body. Nina, I'm speaking directly to your body. Body, be healed. Be made whole in the name of Jesus right now. I speak to every cell and every tissue, every organ. Be healed. Pancreas, I command you, in the name of Jesus, you make the insulin she needs. Kidneys, open up and start working and functioning properly again. I command these things to you. Body, I speak directly to you in the name of Jesus. Be healed. And Father, I thank you that you always hear me. And because you hear me, I have what I have asked of you. And heaven has come down now. And it is on this earth. And it's been deposited in Nina's body. And I thank you for that. So be it. And amen. Okay, guys, I'm going to clock out today, and I'll be right back here tomorrow, uh, right here on Facebook. Bye-bye.